Silent Warrior. Welcome back to another episode on the Silent Warrior. We've come out in what is the first freezing night. I say first freezing night. We had some uh, we had some frost this morning. It's the first proper cold weather of this winter. So we've come out and see if we can find a cod. There's been a few being caught here and there throughout the Solent. We're going to do a whole evening out here tonight and see if we can find one. And then if the fishing isn't as good as we want out in the Solent, we're going to pop back into the harbour and see if we can get some big salt out. As always, when we start finding them fish, we'll bring you back. Right, we're all set up. And before we can even get the camera going, Dad has managed to hook into a lovely bass. These are good. Tilt that top over a little bit. There you go. He's, uh, it's a perfect dinner size. He's about, I don't know, three pounds, three and a half pounds, something like that. He'll be in the pan tomorrow, Dave. He'll be in the pan. So, we've got our first fish on the boat. We're getting quite a few bites. We've had one whiting as well. What we want is a small whiting. If there's bass like this around, then uh, if we can get to a few small whiting for live bait, then we'll start picking up some big bass. So, uh, we'll put this out of his misery humanely. And, uh, We'll bring it back when we catch another one. Oh, fucking hell, wasn't it? Let me get the net. Look at that for a bass. We're out cod fishing, but we're finding big chunky bass. <laughs> right. Again, we're not going to do it on video because some people don't like it, but we're going to uh, dispatch him humanely. And I'm going to see if I can catch a fish. You'll have to tell me your secrets. I'll tell you a secret so you not on camera. <laughs> The next fish you see is going to be mine. It's going to be a big old cod. Right, well that's us done for the night out on the boat. I've struggled. But Dad has managed to catch two nice big bass. So what we're going to do is we're going to have a cook up. So... That's Dave's way of saying hey. <laughs> so, as if by magic, we're in the kitchen. So what we've decided we're going to do with the, the two big bass that we caught last night is we're going to cook bass three way. We're going to do a ceviche for a starter. We're going to do a whole, whole bake, baked, yeah. whole bake bass with the smaller one, and with the other side of the first fish we're going to do ceviche with, we'll do a classic crispy, crispy skin pan fried. You can't beat it. Or maybe we can. We'll, we'll have a look. So what we'll do is I'll start getting all the ingredients ready for ceviche. Ceviche is really quite simple. I Last time I've done it, I've done it with a bit of tuna and I'm going to use the exactly same ingredient I've done before. Three limes juiced, four lemons juiced, Sweet tomatoes, cut up real fine. Spring onion, coriander, diced cucumber. You've got to use that because it gives it a real sort of uh, cut through the mix. And red chilli. 
We'll get all that together, chop it all up into one bowl, and then we'll add the fish. ready for the fish. So what we need to do now is we need to get the fish filleted off. Dad's just cleaning them up in the sink. The first thing you've got to do with a bass is you've got to descale it. So you'll notice these thick scales on the side. Now, the back of a knife is the best way to do this, but underwater. Otherwise, what you end up doing is you'll have fingernail side scales splashed all around the kitchen and you'll be finding them for weeks. So, what he's doing is he's just running it from back back of the fish up to the front and that'll rip the scales off ready for the fillet we have already gutted these fish we gutted these last night it makes it a little bit more difficult to descale just because of the belly the belly cavity is loose now so it makes it a little bit more difficult but it's still well doable going to fill it the first one he taught me how to fill it and i think he taught me how to fill it with that knife I think it probably was, yeah. <laughs> yeah that that knife is that was about that long when uh, <laughs> when when i was when i was younger and started fishing but dad's going to do the first fillet right i'm going to just cut in behind the head okay <clears throat> and then go along the backbone so along the the line of the main fin there and I'm just cutting through the skin at the moment just getting it prepped the line prepped ready for where you're gonna yep and then just cut in as close to the bone as you can get now you'll be able to hear what he's doing this the bones twanging No, it doesn't always work. It doesn't always work as well as I'd like. Especially not when you're filming. <laughs> but what I'm doing for the bottom part of the fillet is I'm going in around the backbone. The backbone's here. <clears throat> so I've come down this side of the of the main bones. Here's the spine. And then there's a similar set of bones on the other side. So I'm coming in past those as well. And this just makes it easier for the bottom part of the fillet. So that's a loose there now. <clears throat> so now I'm going to make sure I catch all the bones. Sometimes you'll find a bone doesn't go the way you want, and you have to come back and get your knife round the other just, side. Just of it. get it round again. And I'm just going to loosen up this piece up at the top here. So again, the similar way I'm coming down across the bottom bones now the, the belly you're going to run into the bit where the flesh is so thin it isn't normally worth worth keeping 
which is this bit here. Yeah. So here's the belly skin. That's generally what I'll do, unless it's a really big fish where that belly meat is is a good sort of thickness. But it's only... Then I'll just come in on that as well. Well, it's less than a centimetre thick. Yeah, so that's... you'll end up cooking that a lot quicker than the rest of the fillet, yeah. overcooking it. And here I'm just going to tidy up the bits I missed. This wouldn't be the way a fishmonger would do it. No, I oh, would be done 10 minutes ago. <laughs> <laughs> it would be that as well, yeah. I'm just going to cut through here to release it. So there's the fillet. It's it could be tidied up a bit. Yeah. Well, it's going in the ceviche along, anyway. So on this side. There you go. So that's one fillet. How much meat have I left? Not too much. No, just a little bit of belly I, meat. I could have gone in a little bit closer there, but most of it's most of it's come off. Nice. Right. What I'm going to do now, because this is going in to the ceviche, we don't want the skin on this. So, what I found the best way to to skin is come in maybe an inch in from the tail down like this until you reach in the skin like that then you can get a grip on it and you want to be moving the skin back and forth keeping the knife where it is and you'll find you get the skin off like that Absolutely no skin on that side at all. And that's ready for dicing. That's the bass all diced up. So the idea is to get all of this a very similar size to each other so they all cook in them juices at the same sort of time. So we've gone with sort of a five mil or a centimeter cube. And that needs to go into this mix it in really well the idea is to have all of the meat covered by them juices so the acidity gets them and cooks itself Now that's going to go into the fridge for a minimum of an hour. Every maybe 15 minutes, I'll give it a stir. Here's a good tip for you as well. The skin that we've taken off of the bass for the ceviche, when we're frying the, uh, the other fillet, that's going in the pan. Crispy fish skin is second to none. For the second bit of bass, so we've got the ceviche in the fridge doing its thing at the moment. This one we're going to be baking. So what we're going to do is we're going to bake it with a little bit of coriander, a bit of chopped up lemon, two crushed cloves of garlic, salt and pepper. But what I am going to do, I've already done one side, I'm going to give it four nice cuts right down to the bone. Three slices of lemon, I'm just going to put a little cut up handful of the coriander, like this.
we're just gonna crush the garlic slightly with the back of the knife. We can just tell you what I'll do. One of them can go inside the belly cavity. Tell you what, both of them can go inside the belly cavity. <laughs> and then a drizzle of white wine. So it could go everywhere, couldn't it? I'll do this first. Bit more, Dave. You think a bit more I wine? I think a bit more. I don't think you can have too much wine, can you? Let's, let's get a nice amount in there. Then. That's good. Yeah. Right, what we're going to do is we'll fold that parcel up, seal it in, and that'll go in the oven for 20 to 25 minutes. We're going to get, while this is cooking at the moment in the oven, we are going to get the other fillet pan fried. So what we're going to do is we're going to pan fry it, skin down first, three minutes on the skin side, because that skin gets really crispy. And then we're going to flip it onto its flesh side and cook that for one more minute. And then as we flip it, a chunk of butter and baste the fish while we're doing it. What this fish is going to want to do when they're this fresh they don't want to try and curl up, so I always use a potato masher to stop that happening. You'll see it releasing like that. Now that's perfect. Now we're gonna cook that, like I said, three minutes on this side, flip it over, butter in and baste it on the other side for one more minute. Yeah. Right, we have all of the fish cooked. We're gonna open this pass. I mean that camera needs to. Right, so that's the bass, all steamed. We've got the fillet with crispy skim. We've got some roasted veg. And the, do you wanna open this to be shake? There you go. And that's the ceviche show. We've just got a few of these biscuits to, uh, to to eat that with. What we're going to do is we try the ceviche show first. Mm. Yep, I'm already started. Yep, have a biscuit, Dave. All right, I'm just going to go straight in. Mm. Mm. I can't tell which bits are chilli. Hey? Which bits are chilli? I got the mild chilli anyway. Okay. I'm not gonna, it's not gonna play red off. Mm. Mm, very nice. Mm. Mm. Mm, very good. good. Yeah. Alright. Let's get this. Oh, it's cooked perfectly. There's a little bit for you. Thank you. You want a bit of the fry, don't you? Yeah. I don't know, I might have a little bit. Do you want a little bit of this as well? Yes, please. There we go. Yes. Let's see. I mean, I'm not going to bother plating up my dinner yet. I'm just going to... It's much more delicate than um, the fried. Mm, 
Now get in the comments section and tell me how you prefer your bass cooked. And if you haven't tried the ceviche style, I mean, it's a, it's a, it's a must. Well, we're gonna plate these up and tuck in. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next episode of Solent Warrior.